In Lesson 38, we'll look at the example, how did the doctors do? And in this example, we'll be exploring statistical significance. Earlier, we read about the physician's health study, where nearly 22,000 doctors were randomly assigned to take aspirin or placebo every odd-numbered day, hoping to find that aspirin helps prevent heart attacks. These doctors were also randomly assigned to take beta-carotene or placebo every even-numbered day, hoping to find that beta-carotene helps prevent cancer. In Part A, the proportion of doctors taking aspirin who had a heart attack was smaller than the proportion of doctors taking the placebo who had a heart attack, and the difference was found to be statistically significant. Explain what it means that the difference was statistically significant. So what we need to remember here is that we can see the proportion of doctors taking aspirin who had a heart attack was smaller than those who took the placebo, and that's what we were hoping to find. When we find that this difference is statistically significant, you need to remember from your reading that statistically significant is when an observed difference in responses between the groups of an experiment is too large to be explained by chance variation in the random assignment. We say that the results are statistically significant. So what does that mean really in this example? For us, what that tells us is that the difference in the proportion of doctors who had a heart attack, whether they were taking aspirin or taking a placebo, was large enough that we don't think it could just be from some chance variation in the people in this study. Um, we think that there's something else going on. That's what this idea of statistically significant means, that the difference between these two groups, the doctors who take the aspirin and the, excuse me, the proportion of doctors who take the aspirin and have a heart attack, and the proportion of doctors who have a heart attack while taking the placebo, we say, okay, there's a big enough difference here that there's something more going on. And in this case, it would be that the aspirin is uh, helping with heart attacks. In part B, the difference in the proportion of doctors taking beta carotene who developed cancer and the proportion of doctors taking a placebo who developed cancer was not statistically significant. So what does that mean? Well, again, using the same definition we just used in part A, if there's not a statistically significant difference, what that means is that the proportion of doctors who developed cancer in the two groups was small enough. There wasn't a big enough difference between them. It was small enough. They were, the proportions were close enough together that we say, oh, it could just be from this sample, just variation within these samples and these doctors um, that could cause the small difference that we saw in the proportion of doctors who developed cancer. If you'd like to try more practice with statistical significance, please try exercise five.